All right, here's a quick video on how to disassemble a 2008 Tundra mirror. So <clears throat> I popped the mirror off already, as you can tell. Here, you can see that these little tabs here, there's four of them on the back of this, this little slots, the four slots. And all you do is to uh, put them on, is put them on top and then push it down. Oh, I'm too close. Put it on top of the tab and push it down and lock it in. And if you want to take it off, just push it up, apply upward pressure and then pull it out. And then just disassemble your, your wire harness. And then that should get the mirror out. Uh, and then if you want to take a step further, and these little these little holes here back here, these are your little um, slots for the cover on the front. You can take those off if you want to. Um, they're just little plastic tabs. You just kind of apply pressure and push them out, and it'll, the whole thing will pop off. And then next thing is that uh, you can take this out, which is the power mirror. There's four screws. There's one, two. Uh, three four. I already taken this off just to, but I want to do a video so I can remember and also to show you all uh, So you take I take one screw off here and then That comes off oh, Drop my screw and then undo the, the harness here. It's kind of hard to do one hand. So let me try it uh. All right, so harness comes off this comes off so now you're left with just wires and this and there's also two screws here that holds onto the back cover of um, of the pivot point and what you do here is um, you can tell like the back of this there's also a slot here and all you do is pull the mirror to your left you see it pops out and then this whole um, assembly comes out once you kind of wiggle it out. Let's see here. And then and that's how you take the mirror off. I don't know if my the reason I the reason I'm taking my sorry for the shakiness. The reason I'm taking this off is because somebody broke this mirror part and so now it's super loose right here. And it's in its slot, but it's not right because the slots kind of like slid off and so now there's a lot of movement uh, on this at some point I'm gonna have to replace this whole mirror, but I wanted to take this off and kind of see how it worked so but you can push it out and There's a stopper There's a stopper right here that keeps it from going any further. I didn't realize it uh, well, I was kind of manhandling and I broke this part here on this side where it goes where it closes this way and it stops so now it just goes all the way so I did that but anyway if you want to take your mirror off and dis disassemble it and check it out and fix whatever you need to fix and I haven't taken this off yet but I don't want to I think the only thing that's holding this part on to the bottom part is this little uh, cap it looks like it's pressed on and if you pry this off I think the spring should pop like this cap comes off and holds the spring together which applies tension to this whole assembly um, but I think if you pop that off the spring should slide off and then I think this thing just comes all the way up That's my hunch, but I'm not gonna do it uh, because uh, Just in case I can't put it back together then I'm short on a mirror and I just need it just to work until I buy a new uh, Replacement mirror, but anyway uh, That is a quick video on this cuz I I thought there were screws at the bottom There's a cover, but there's no screws whatsoever. So don't do anything there. Don't need to but yeah, that's that's pretty much it.